Hello and welcome to beautiful snowy Colorado. You can see we are just getting absolutely dumped on with snow right now. <laughs> About four weeks ago, we took this Tesla Model 3, our Model 3 performance. I promise a 100,000 mile full update series is coming soon. I'm just sort of waiting for the opportune time to film it, film it for you. Uh, we took this car out on Nokian all season tires and we were hugely impressed with their capabilities in the snow. I can link to that video in the description. But today we have a way more aggressive set of wheels and tires on this car. I'll show you what we have on it and then we're going to get it out in some actual crazy deep snow here we're talking almost a foot of snow and uh, we'll see how it does this is the tesla model 3 performance of course and take a look at these wheels and tires we have these are the 18 inch martian mw03 wheels they're actually in the very narrow configuration i want to say seven and a half inches wide uh, maybe eight inches. I don't know, but they're, I don't even think Drew sells these anymore. Um, I think you can special order them, but they're like super ultra snow rated. And then we have the Nokian Hakapalita 10 EV studded winter tires on this thing. Take a look at that full studs on there. And what's interesting is underneath this layer of snow, you can see I just shoveled out is just a thick layer of ice. So I'll be curious to see how the studs dig into the ice how the deep snow performance is, and overall, I really think this is about as aggressive as a tire setup as you can get in the United States for any electric car. I mean, these are EV rated snow studded tires. We'll talk a little bit about our experience with them because we've had these like all over the country, actually. Yeah, they are a 235, 45, 18, so about a seven and a half. Yep, 235, 45, 18. They look real chunky on this thing, looks good. Let's get it out in the snow. We got Ellie with us too. She wants to come for a ride. As Kyle's backing out of the driveway, he's gonna put it in slip start. Cause we've, I'd say with what the snow paws have already done, commuting all together, it's probably about a foot of snow on the side over here. Just scratching the front bumper like nothing. And it's out. Okay guys, this is the first time I've had these Hakapalita EV studded tires this season in crazy snow and it is crazy icy out here. Uh, just sitting outside today when I was shoveling the driveway, cars were coming by like sideways uh, because they just have no traction. So what, there's a couple things going on here. The first with a dedicated snow or winter tire. First of all, look at our consumption really bad. That's because we were sliding it around last night. So it's thinking 56 miles of range at 66% state of charge. <laughs> That's just what you get when you're being an idiot. Um, so two things to consider with winter tires. The first is the compound of the tire. Look at this road, kind of unplowed. Let's hammer through. Big power. Oh my goodness, this thing freaking goes anywhere. This is crazy deep. <laughs> Look at it up on the Jeep. Like this is a lot of snow. Look straight out. You can see all these, like just how crazy this is. And we're just plowing through this. So the first is the trend compound of the tire. It's typically winter tires are a softer compound and they have these thick blocks with sipes in the tires so they can really dig into the snow and get you moving. So this has a great winter tire carcass, if you will. But then Nokian is known for like the best studded technology. Look at this guy. He barely made it out of his driveway. He's getting stuck in the ruts over there. Um, Nokian is known for their studded technology, which is arguably some of the best, if not the best technology. That is probably their core competency of uh, their studded tech. One, the studs don't fall out. Uh, we've had these tires in, actually, remember when we went to the Goodyear track time in? Yeah. We had these tires on. Oh, yeah. And it, and it was sounded like 100 so, degrees yeah, outside. It sounded so funny on the Texas roads. It sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll explain a couple things. Um, Winter tires don't like to be typically in, in sort of summer conditions, but we've had these tires in summer conditions and they didn't just melt off. Like, and we were like sliding the car yeah. around. Like I was like pretty impressed with how well the studs had stayed in. I mean, these tires have been torture tested. I mean, allegedly this car has done 120 miles an hour on these tires. Yeah, but we can't recommend that because the top speed of the tire is 100. Yeah, but the studs are still in there. So the studs are still in there, <laughs> just don't do that. Yeah. It's a 100 mile an hour top speed of these tires, I believe. Um, 
there are some downsides to running studded tires and that's typically the noise but and i've driven other studded tires before but i have to say these are pretty surprisingly quiet um you do hear them at low speed kind of gripping the pavement grumbling around you can definitely tell like when we're coming down the road but at higher speed it's really not bad you just get a nice little white noise and and that's part of why these are ev specific studded tires because they have range in mind you know rolling resistance and aerodynamic uh sort of design but also from uh you know sort of noise is really good so now we get to grip. The reason you get studded tires is not for snow, it's for ice. And like I mentioned, underneath this surface is just a sheet of ice. So let's just do a couple little maneuvers here on our street. So hard left, whoa, big grip, hard right. Look at that, tracking straight. I mean, I can tell it's slippery, right? I can feel the tire giving way, but for sure we are getting so much more traction um, and especially acceleration. Watch this, it's just, ripping <laughs> and uh, you would have nowhere near that without the studs so I am convinced that these tires are perfect for areas where we live that get a ton of snow if you get occasional snow here or there uh, maybe not but if you get a lot of ice and we've actually had a lot of ice this season these tires are freaking amazing one thing I'd like to do we've done deep snow we've done a little bit of this ice I'd just like to do a quick braking test on this sort of slippery surface so let's continue around to the right here we'll go past where no one is we're going to come up this way and we'll do i don't know 25 miles an hour full break you can just feel the studs digging into the ice <laughs> and then a full acceleration ellie you holding on show can ellie can they see ellie back there <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Man, the uh, amazing traction control of the Tesla system, by far the best traction control of any car I've ever driven uh, as here in, in Tesla vehicles. And uh, in terms of response, but also allowing enough slip to get the car moving, paired with these tires, this is like an unstoppable machine. I mean, I don't know how to describe to you just how thick this snow is and kind of the, the makeup of it. It's really not super gentle. You getting a little hot there, Tymon? Yeah, a little Turn toasty. The temperature down? <laughs> Well, here we are in a parking lot. Looks like there is a car here. Perhaps we don't want to get in their way while they're plowing, so we can just make a U-turn. I'd like to uh, do one last rip down an unplowed parking lot, and then we'll call it a video. But I have to say, uh, having these tires in highway conditions, on road trips, uh, we've done multiple road trips in this. Ah, Tundra ripping through. Um, in warm weather which they're not designed for at higher speeds which they're not designed for it's all very impressive and while the all seasons were really impressive this is just a whole nother level of capability on top of what those noki and all seasons can do in the snow so let's go find one more unplowed road and i think this might be it right here take a look cheyenne big big thing to get up here let's just hammer through shall we foot down Oh, this guy's like, what are you doing in your Tesla? <laughs> With his a barth in there, is it? Nice. So this is just awesome. We're gonna drive out of the ruts in the fresh powder. It's like we're skiing. Carbon on S's. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Coming up over the hood, the snow. Look at that. Literally coming up over the hood. <laughs> this is so cool. And we're just we have tons of acceleration left. Wow, this is like a cheat code to get around anywhere. This is just incredible. I don't know if that was a stop sign or not, but I don't think there are rules with this much snow on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Timon, about these tires? Oh, <laughs> we're literally driving over the hood in snow. I mean, I've noticed driving these tires on road trips and stuff that you really don't get that much of a difference if even in this weather or uh, like when it's cold or when it's warm a with your all seat, with driving like i mean your autopilot's a little bit different it's a little more wavy i would say so yeah i mean okay so what you're saying is there's no upside or no downside no downside no downside so the, there's not much compromise getting these yeah i tires. mean hmm. for the I'm people agreeing. for the people that solely rely on autopilot good Look luck <laughs> dip that we're gonna have to go through here that's gnarly all right, well, let's just send it. Oh, <laughs> that sounded nasty. 
But speed and power solves this all. This car's been through so much worse. <laughs> this car's been through a lot worse. This is amazing. I mean, this is a lot of snow, and it's the car doesn't even care. Yeah, so the tires on the highway are a little squishy, but that's what you get with, you know, sort of a really aggressive winter tire. So autopilot sometimes goes wide right. in corners. But even at, in the summer, if I forget to switch these out for the all seasons, you really don't notice that big of a difference with how squishy they are. Um, which way is the office? To the left? Yes. Okay, we'll just wait here because it's a red light. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. Hope you enjoyed this quick little, I don't know, snow blasting demonstration. I'm just blown away. Oh, it's have been since we put these tires on last season. And uh, everyone asks, you know, what's the most aggressive winter tire setup for your Model 3? Well, Martian 18 inch wheels. I mean, the wheels really don't matter that much, but they look good, so, and they're built really well. So Martian wheels and the Nokian Hakapolita 10 EV studded winter tires, that's about as aggressive as, as you'll find in the US. There might be some like random Finnish version of the Hakapolita that's like even more, I don't know of one, um, but that's what I could think of. So let's just continue out as everyone locks up their brakes <laughs> trying to stop on this ice. And we have, I mean, this is pretty slippery stuff. I'll even put it in the middle and just hard throttle. <laughs> We're just hammering. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Say goodbye to Ellie. Ellie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.